Me? That guy, in my dream, he called himself Sukai. I feel like we've met somewhere. As Shinonome-senpai told me earlier, there's a second Juro Izumi from another world. He transferred his consciousness into an android. So that must have been what I saw. But still, why did it look just like my grandma when she was younger? Shibakun's not actually human. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad, he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. I tried asking her about that talk she had on the stairs. But she just dodged the question. She had a sad look on her face. In my dream, a woman and I went back in time to prevent the extinction of humanity. To do that, we had to blow up some sort of research facility. And, well, we did it. And if that weren't enough, we shot the researchers dead. The woman I was with in that dream looked eerily similar to Fuyasaka-san. Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house, and then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my own. So much for that. That dream was awful. I was going around killing students. I shot so many. Like Fuyusaka-san. And Yakushiji. If that was a real memory, does that mean I actually did all that? Fuyusaka-san and I were the only ones who made it. We escaped to Sumire Bridge 16 years into the past. These must be Shibakun's memories. Or rather, the other Juro Izumis. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. something knock it off I'm not I know I mean I remember now you live inside me that day at the shrine you jumped out of that robot and possessed me what do you think I am a ghost I had nowhere else to go if it were up to me I would have picked a more welcoming host Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. In other words, yours? The other Juro Izumi. <sighs> you know, this one's three times older than you. You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. Miss Morimura. She really on my side? She wants to change me back into Juro Izumi. Can I trust her? <gasps> J 
Chihiro Morimura. That's right. She's the one I saw in my dream. Excuse me. Uh, Karabikun. Is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not for you, Sakasan. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time that Shibakun was inside of me? Or rather, Juro Izumi was. <gasps> you talk too much. You think you can just walk in here and screw everything up? I'm not afraid to shut your mouth. Kurabekun? Kurabe-kun. <sighs> Kurabe-kun. If the woman from my dream is actually our teacher, then Tsukasa Okino must be real too. <sighs> Where have I seen him before? No, I shouldn't. If I run to the nurse's office, I'll put Shinonome Senpai at risk too. That's right. There was a guy standing by the vending machines earlier. He looked just like Tsukasa Okino. Hey, do you have a minute? Huh? Uh, you're Tsukasa Okino, right? You must be mistaken. You even sound like him. You were in that UFO with Juro Izumi, right? You're not making any sense. Sorry, but I don't have time for this. If you'll excuse me. Wait! The UFO wasn't the only time. I know I've met you somewhere else. That's right. I remember now. Prisoner E-426, face forward. The drug has been administered. The perp cannot fight back. Do not be alarmed. It is safe to enter. Prisoner E-426, look up while we're speaking to you. Or would you rather bear the brunt of the electric chair? So this man's the culprit? He's a murderer. He bombed Shikishima, killing countless people. We managed to catch him, but his identity is still unknown. Furthermore, his testimony makes no sense. That's why I've requested your assistance. The name's Onishi. I'm in charge of this investigation. I appreciate your help. Mr. Tsukasa Okino. <laughs> Tsukasa-kun. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? No. I'm afraid I've never seen him before. All right, then. Your biometrics lead me to believe you're being honest with us. Why did you bring me here? Well, we used a truth serum on the guy. He started saying your name over and over. He also mentioned a student by the name of Chihiro Morimura. 
This is her photo. Do you recognize her? No. We'll be requesting her cooperation soon enough. But it'll have to wait until next week. She's currently out of the country. In any case, thank you for joining us today. I may ask for your presence again if any new info turns up. Of course. You are free to go. Follow the signs back to the waiting room. <sighs> Do not be alarmed. The perp cannot fight back. <gasps> Mr. Juro Izumi. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? How would I? All I know is... He's a terrorist bomber. Well, we took a look at your DNA. The two of you are a perfect match. It was quite a surprise. What? There's a distinct possibility... ...that one of you is a clone. That's ridiculous. What does he have to say about it? According to his testimony... ...he is, in fact, you... ...from the future. As for his motive... ...he claims he had to commit this crime to prevent the emergence of Kaiju. Kaiju? Huh? Excuse me for a moment. What is it? We're in the middle of an investigation. <clears throat> what? An evacuation order? It's on the news? Like he's awake. Perfect. I'm almost done. What's going on? Hey, what is this? Calm down, please. High blood pressure generates noise in the scan. Tsukasa Okino. I remember now. I was attacked out of nowhere. Sorry about that. It was the only way. This isn't the most welcoming place, is it? I can't imagine you would have come willingly. You're Tsukasa Okino, aren't you? I saw you in my dream and... You got left behind. I knew there was something odd about you. But that dream of yours is even more surprising than I expected. Juro Izumi, shifting in cycles. There's only one person those memories could have come from. I'm glad I looked into this. To think he'd seek refuge within Juro himself. Do you know him? We call him 426. As of now, he exists as sheer consciousness. That is to say, he lives in your injected nanomachines. At some point, he got in and took over the system area. Go ahead and ask him yourself. <laughs> Shippakun. So this is the guy. He's not quite what I imagined. Don't be deceived. He can alter his appearance however he pleases. You guys can see him? He's under my control now. He can't hurt you anymore. Jeez, Juro. Why you gotta be so obtuse? Tell us the purpose of your disguise. He's trying to take over my mind. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not the one who wanted that. Chihiro Morimura is. Our teacher? She wanted to transplant my memory backups into you. Whatever she could do to match your personality with mine. But Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. She created a new personality. The one you have now. But you were using videotapes to alter my memories. 
Yeah, well, the backups weren't meshing with your simulated personality. You almost had a breakdown, man. So I decided to turn him into something a little more concrete. Something your current self would understand. You should thank me for saving your ass. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Why did you try to help me? Well, if Morimura's plan did work out, there'd just be another copy of me running around. Besides, I don't want to be left watching over your unstable mess. I won't tolerate being used any longer. I'm sick of it. 426. For better or worse, she's given up on the Sentinel Project. Her interest in Juro Karabe has waned. But the Sentinel Project is the only option we have. Wrong. Sentinels can't save us alone. Then what can? You're talking as if you know the answer. I do. I've found an effective means for our survival. Would you like to hear it? What we call the UFO? I know who programmed it. There was a certain someone named Tsukasa Okino, back in 2188. 2188? It's hard to believe from looking at you now. But he was quite the sloppy programmer. When he designed the environment management system, he borrowed a portion of it from something else. That particular portion contains the D code. It's what's summoning the kaiju. That part of the code was never supposed to be accessed. Well, well, it was. Where was this code reused from? It was a little outdated, even for its time. But it's a little sim game based on mighty kaiju daimos. A daimos game? You're telling me a video game has control over the automated factories? That's how the kaiju are being produced? Where do you think the name Dymos came from? It's not a coincidence, you know. Up until now, we've been forced to play a game we can't win. But just imagine. What if we gained access to the greater system? We've had limited control over it so far. If we fix that, we'll be able to fight on an equal playing field. Think about it. Each time we destroy an enemy, we'll get some kind of meta prize. Like scoring points. With those, we can use the automated factories to strengthen our sentinels. Points, huh? Let's just call them meta chips for now. I still can't trust you. Fine, leave what you want. I don't need your help anymore. Sorry for wasting your time. Do you have any proof of your claims? Uh... There was a log on it, but it's gone. You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony... in a video game? That's it, Hijiyama! Huh? You saw the log, didn't you? Hijiyama-kun... What was that log all about? You want to find out? Go help that idol who's stuck in orbit. Well, it's about that time. I need to get going. What? Don't worry. He can't do a thing. Maybe. But a guy like him probably planned ahead. Oh, give the boy a prize! You can be surprisingly sharp at times. Hijama. Sorry. You're... Juro! Thank goodness, I made it in time. Yeah, thanks to me talking their ears off. Did you walk through Tar to get here? I'm doing exactly as you told me. Foul-mouthed cat. Did you say cat? Don't worry about erasing his memory. What? But then... What are you talking about? Let's go. 
Relax. I won't erase your memories either. So it's her. She's the one who's been cooperating with him. Open the airlock. Hijiyama, respond please. I need you to open it. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Yakushiji. Hijiyama, open the B2 airlock. I'm afraid I can't do that. You're well aware of the reason. We're not infected. The vitals detected by your suit tell me otherwise. I'm so sorry, Yakushiji. Fine, I may be infected. But my daughter isn't. Please check her. It's true. She's not showing any signs of infection just yet. So you'll let her in, right? Please! Unfortunately, she is likely still in the incubation period. Just save my daughter! I'm begging you! <sighs> it's not a risk we can afford to take. You and I... We're comrades, aren't we? We've been to hell and back together. If it's the last thing I ask of you, please, Hijiyama. I'm sorry, Yakushiji. You must understand. <sighs> Hijiyama, halfway through to airlock control. Major Izumi. <clears throat> Izumi son, I had a feeling you would say that. So I've sealed the airlock on my end. I can't allow you to infect this colony. Don't jump to conclusions. I'm the one getting out. I'll grab a shuttle and retrieve his daughter. We'll give it 24 hours. If she does turn out to be infected, then we'll never return. Simple as that. <clears throat> I can't accept this. It's an order, Hijiyama. Sorry, Yakushiji. You're going to have to leave your daughter with me. In the meantime, you'll need to return to the pod you came here in. Are you alright with that? I trust you with her life. My daughter. My Megumi. I'll protect her at all costs. I promise. No matter what happens, I intend to fulfill that promise. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. still Juro, just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. Fuyusaka's not going to be able to handle him alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nanomachines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In 
other words, I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. Sentinel number 13. Activate. for dinner. I think we have some ground beef. I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. And done. Something smells good. are really his memories? Please, you have to tell me. You know something, don't you? Please, tell me. His memories haven't returned yet. Is what Fluffy's been doing really working? I hope so. You're... You're Juro Kurabe. Why are you saying that? It's all I can say. I made a promise to Tamao-san. My grandma? Please, don't ask me anything else. I won't be able to continue staying here if you do. I don't understand. Juro. where you went. <laughs> you were with Juro earlier. Hmm. I suppose this is technically the first time we've met. I'm Tamal Karabe. You are crying. Poor thing. Well, what do you want? I know you have feelings for Juro. What does that have to do with anything? You desire to be by his side, do you not? Oh, well... Of course I do. Then you will do just that. I'll make the arrangements. What? However, I have two conditions. 
First, you will treat him as Juro Karabe. Huh? You must not tell him anything about the future. Or about himself. But why? It's the only way to keep him safe. I don't understand. Can you do it? Can you treat him only as Juro Karabe? Well, I... My other condition. If he starts to remember he is Juro Izumi, you must tell me immediately. But he is. Why would that be bad? It would be dangerous if he became Juro Izumi. Very dangerous. The reasons are unimportant. If you agree to these two conditions, you can live with him. <sighs> what will you do? What will... I accept. How wonderful. Here. These documents make it legal for you to live with him. A rental agreement? I'll tell Morimura-san of our arrangement myself. Please, go to Juro now. Oh. Thank you. Fluffy. Can nobody else see you? Uh. Juro. You've been living at the Karabe house. Oh, yes. Has there been any change? Has he said anything strange? Any confusion about being Juro Izumi? What makes you ask that? It sounds like you know something. Don't tell me. You know something? Excuse me. Oh, Karabe-kun. Is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is... something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not for Yusaka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time? <gasps> Kurabe-kun? Juro! What was that about? Hmm. I don't know. an emergency. Juro's been taken. What? That idiot. He got too close to some dangerous people. Dangerous? Those who use magic for their own means. You went there before. The abandoned factory in Higoromocho. They're going to alter his memories. You need to go there again. You need to rescue Juro. 
damn it. He's getting too far. He's gone? I knew he wasn't real. No, it doesn't matter. Right now, Juro needs me. I'm on my way, Juro. what's in your dreams, aren't you? Do you remember me? It's not exactly like that. I finally understand. These... the things I remember... they aren't from the Juro you know. <laughs> no. That can't be. Why would you say that? The things I saw in my dreams... Their memories. And the only memory I have of you is when I shot and killed you. <gasps> I was worried. I was so afraid that. that I'd hurt you again. Because I. Who are you? Is there really nothing left? There's no trace of him inside you? <laughs> no. I betrayed everyone. I betrayed Tony. It was all a lie. I... I'm such an idiot. Yakushiji. That cat. What was the point? Wait. you to update the decode. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? You look like a scared kitten. Hold it right there. Who are you? Who ordered you to update the decode? Decode? Do you mean the Dimos code? Yep. I know it wasn't you. Tell me who it was. It was a cat. Huh? A fluffy black cat with a white-tipped tail. So you caught her? Renya Goto. You're late, Goto-kun. Did you know? Do you understand what you did to me? I sealed your powers as a witch. To fight the kaiju. That's what I was told. Witches and cats. Interesting story. I thought you'd be able to see through the ruse a bit more. Wanna know what you shot him with? It was nanomachines. They added code to the ones already in their bodies. The code expands the kaiju's capabilities. How strong it will allow them to become. We have no way of knowing. That can't be. The one behind all this 
the one who manipulated you. It seems they are trying to take control of the decode. If they succeed, they will also have control of the Sentinel dock in the factory. In other words, we lose all our means of defense. Are you aware of who that cat is? No. That seems bad. He must have known this would happen. He had a plan. That's why he used the girl, so we couldn't trace it back to him. But that very cleverness is what proves it was him. So, who is he? No one you'd have heard of. He's a criminal from the future. A criminal? From the very beginning, it was all lies. I won't forgive him. Not ever. you are. About time you got back. You lied to me. About everything. You seem mad. But I haven't lied to you. You're not a cat at all. I've been saying that from the beginning. You're a criminal from the future. I know you are. All that about ancient civilizations and curses. You've been playing me for a fool the whole time! I haven't been lying. There is an ancient civilization. This may look like the 20th century, but it's not. Humanity actually died out in the 22nd century. It's been millions of years since then. So, in reality, the 22nd century is an ancient civilization. So you're saying this isn't the real world? No, more lies! I won't be deceived again. I'm done being used! You convinced me to shoot my friends with this thing! And now you're in control of the Kaiju and the Sentinels. Was that your goal all along? To end humanity? I've already told you. This is a game. I'm only making preparations. A game where our lives are on the line? Not if things go the way I want them to. I can get you all out of here alive. are in Juro. Ah, oh, right. That. Those are my memories, actually. <sighs> it's not my fault, though. You really think I'd believe your lies again? No, I don't imagine you would. You were using Juro, too, weren't you? It was not my intention. But in the end, that is what happened. You need to give up on trying to bring him back. By the way, I forgot to mention... You're the final witch. But you don't have to meet the same fate as the rest of them. Wait... What? Where is he?
is this? This is all my fault. I forced everyone into battle. But the only one who really deserves to die is me. Tommy, forgive me. To actually shoot yourself like that, it must have really been driving you mad. But don't worry. If you don't fight, there's no way you'll survive. You did what had to be done. I want to apologize about his memories. There were things that happened I didn't expect. But none of that matters to you. There's no excuse. I boasted about how I could bring him back. It may seem like I tricked you, but I really did all that I could. I had no ill intent. Well, there may be a little. I just wanted him to become the Juro of my world. I wanted to control his feelings of love. Almost like a parent to their child. I wanted my desires to become his own. I guess I hesitated once I saw the depth of your feelings. There was still some human left in me, after all. You might not believe me, but I really have become fond of you. Megumi Yakushiji. The days we spent together were surprisingly fun. It gave me an odd feeling, as if I were on holiday with a cheeky daughter. You left me some nice memories. And now it's up to all of you. I've made all the preparations I could. Since I was unable to hold up my end of our contract, this is goodbye. If our plan succeeds, I want you to live out the rest of your life with Juro. Take care, and good luck. Yakushiji. Juro. What happened? Uh. Did you shoot yourself in the stomach with that gun? Please, wait. Just hear me out. Ever since I last saw you, I've been thinking about the dreams I had. None of that matters now. I dream of myself inside the Sentinel. I've seen it over and over. I fight in the Sentinel. Taking down Kaiju after Kaiju. Struggling in pain. Fighting like some kind of possessed demon. Right arm destroyed. Damage immense. Pilot must cease control. I still have my left arm. Abnormality detected in life support. Emergency release of Sentinel pilot. Initiating. No! Cancel release! I'll continue to pilot. Override command. I won't let them destroy Megumi City. This place is home to all our memories. Life support limit reached. Emergency release procedure. Initiating. No! Cancel the release! I'm not done yet. The more I thought about it, the clearer it became. The only one who has experience piloting Sentinels is the Juro Izumi you know. These are his memories. In battle, he was always calling out someone's name. I didn't realize it at first, but... I know it now. It was your name. He was fighting for you. Juro... I'm not... I'm not Juro Izumi anymore. But my feelings are the same. 
Maybe it's because of his memories. But even so, none of that matters to me now. Because I... well... I love you. My feelings for you are just as strong and true as Izumi's. Do you not feel the same way? Thank you, but... Fluffy really was trying. Just like he said. He was trying to get his memories back. What do I... It's true that uh, I'm not... I may not be as strong as him. But I don't care. I will protect you. With everything that I have. No. <laughs> I'll never let you fight on your own again. I'll fight to protect you too, Juro. I wouldn't have it any other way. Does that mean... Yakushiji? Fluffy. I will 